and welcome to this week's Weird Wednesday. In today's show, we're going to be talking about a 25-year-old friendship, the Michael Phelps vs. Shark drama, a croc and alligator incidents, and the Pike Mafia. Actually, we're not doing the Pike Mafia. It's changed. Oh, we moved that one. Yeah, we moved that one. So Ignore we'll that. that one. No, yeah. uh, so let's get straight onto the news, except Pike Mafia. What's Pike Mafia? Basically, there was in Russia... <laughs> no, Norway, Norway. People were putting pike in the water yeah. because they like hunting them, but because people were putting pike in the water, um, it was interfering obviously with the natural habitats of all these lakes and stuff. Okay. And basically, the, the guy who's heading the investigation on finding out who keeps putting this pike in the water has dubbed them the Pike Mafia. <laughs> that was it. That's why the story's not in there. <laughs> okay, no. okay, so uh, summoning crocodiles. A man was bathing with friends in an Indonesian river when he was snatched by a crocodile. Sadly, the man uh, couldn't get free and uh, he was dragged to his death. Bad story. Um, search and rescue uh, spent a day or two looking for the man, or just body, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, body. They, they, um, yeah. Uh, but with no luck, they couldn't find him. Uh, so the man's family got so desperate to find him that they called a local witch doctor to use witchcraft uh, to get the crocodile to bring him back. And it did. Yeah, the most random thing ever, like 24 hours or a couple of hours afterwards, did his voodoo magic, Ooh. witch doctor magic, and then yeah, so, uh, so the croc in question a few hours later was seen carrying his body around with him. Uh, he then pulled it to shore and swam off. Weird, Boy. weird. Um, so the body was then identified as the missing man, uh, which is a win-win. Uh, people were sort of going out that way to, uh, to hunt and kill the crocodile. Surely they could just get in contact with this witch doctor. Witch doctor get him back. Yeah. It's weird, because obviously crocs and alligators, I'm guessing they're, they're, you know, they're different, but they're, they have very similarities. Yeah. They, with the carcass, because they like it all pussy and Oh yeah, they kind of break they? it up and hide it. Yeah, up. so they hide it under. So the fact that, obviously that's like, so they, they kill it and then they normally store it for a couple of weeks. So the fact that it's come back, all pres preserved, I guess, in a way. Yeah, brought it back. Brought it back, so here you go, and then swam off. Which, I mean, I don't believe in that sort of thing, but that's pretty uncanny. Yeah, that's it's pretty weird. Unusual. Hence why it's on Weird Wednesday. Yeah. So, croc versus shark. Yeah. <laughs> a video has gone viral of a croc cruising along a boat to get fed, and then he got something a lot bigger. <laughs> so, Christian and his friend were cruising the waters of the Kimberley coast when a crocodile started to tailgate the boat, seeing that obviously they were discarding fish. I think they were, they were fishing or whatever, and they were like, oh, we don't want that one, don't want that one. Yep. So they were discarding it off the, uh, the back of the boat. So the croc thought, you know, you'll get a bit in the action as well. I was like, easy meal. Yeah, exactly. I can just sit there and go, <laughs> oh, um, thank you very much. But uh, in the depths of the water, a shark also wanted a piece of the action. <laughs> so when the man threw uh, a fish into the water, the croc went to grab it, and then pretty much at the same time, a shark came up too. <laughs> Unfortunately though, the shark went into the mouth of the croc. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then the croc so oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I, was, I was aiming for uh, this fish, and I now have got this massive fish. fish, even bigger. Um, Cheers, nice one. And then literally just dragged it away. Yeah, it was, it was still a fairly small shark in yeah. comparison to the, no, it was uh, great to the crocodile. Like eight foot. Um, it just kind of gave up because the croc just kind of bit it on the snout. It's just kind of like, oh, okay, I'm dead now. <laughs> and the crocodile just swims off with him. Is that, yeah, yeah, cheers, thanks very much. Yeah, weird. Oh. So croc versus shark. Crocodile croc. wins. Unfortunately, the croc uh, wins. <laughs> In our next piece, apparently fish can't recognise faces, or they can, they can recognise faces, but they can't recognise faces upside down. That's the story. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Safe diving. Uh, so a study has just finished on uh, Japanese rice fish, because that's a thing. Yeah, but well, they're, but they're called rice fish because they live in the rice paddies. In the paddy fish. Yeah. Uh, so they're now they're, they're known for recognising faces um, until they're upside down, like us. Um, so the fish are so good at recognizing faces that they even recognize someone in a photo. Yeah. Uh, so until the photo or person goes upside down and they haven't the foggiest who it is. Yeah. So random. What do they spend their time on? Well, look, these <laughs> Japanese scientists, if they're not trying to get Godzilla, <laughs> they're doing, they're getting fish and going, uh, so the test is, uh, to test this theory, uh, scientists paired male and female rice fish together. Uh, they then used transparent films uh, to um, 
to alter. Yeah, to alter the look of one of the fish. So, oh, I see. So they did it. They they did it where it's upside down. They they used it transparency, but obviously they can yeah, move it around. Distort it. Yeah, distort. The uh, look so of the it turns fish. out when a rice fish is upside down, it doesn't have a clue what it's looking at, and uh, and also a slight change in the male's appearance to the female failed to recognise it. That's why I was single for such a long time. <laughs> Girls just couldn't see. They thought I was a different person just because of a bit of transparent paper. It's weird. As, again, this is probably thousands of yen got put into this. <laughs> this they probably spent years studying it to go, yeah, look, they can't recognize face, like the faces if they're upside down or they're slightly. Yeah. That's great. What's that going to offer to the world? Confused <laughs> rice fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so this Friday we uploaded our very first profile video based on Jacques Cousteau uh, where I talk about his life and how he was so vital to the development of scuba diving that we all know and love today. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet then click on the card that's just popped up somewhere over there uh, or click the link below in the description. So Mark, 25 year old friendship. So scuba diver Hirokumi Arakawa, did I get that right? <laughs> Hiroyuki. Oh, Yuki. Okay. Arakawa. Yep, cool. Uh, was diving under in the underwater park of the Tatayama. Yep, nice one. Thank you very much. Uh, in Japan, obviously, where he spotted an Asian sheep's head. Sheep head. Sheep head. Well, apparently in the article it's called sheep's head, but you know. It's a sheep's head wrasse. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. 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 Or just a dismembered sheep's head. Just yeah, just right in there. <laughs> Anyway, it looked like it was in pain because he wasn't attached to the rest of his body, the poor <laughs> um, Anyway, it started, so the diver started taking care of the fish by feeding it crabs. I think in its first sitting, it fed, it fed it five odd crabs. And then it's basically, he started nursing it back to health. Aww. And 25 years on, they're still the best of buds. <laughs> um, you know, Hiro, what's... Hiroyuki. Hiroyuki stated, I think anyone can get an animal's attention by feeding them, yeah. but to touch or interact with them is harder to accomplish. Mm. I'm not too sure if it's the, na the nature of the kudu kuduba, kudu? Ko kobudai. Kobudai, or not. <laughs> I'm very good at this. Um, <laughs> but it's probably because there's a sense of trust between them. Where? Isn't that just lovely? So That's 25 cool. years, so he's been going there diving, this fish swims up every day, recognises who it is. He feeds him. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me like the alligator or crocodile. Feed me. Oh, I've got a shark. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, it's just. And that, very randomly, that article was a nerdist. Oh, okay. The most. I'd never, never have thought that I would get a shark article or a no, swim one article of ours. Yeah. On a nerdist website. Nerdists are the kind of like DC and Marvel stuff. Yeah, they're very comic book. book movies yeah Game of Thrones. so having this article ah, it, was, it, was cool. it was cool uh so siesta key has been cancelled oh. uh, a party that was introducing mtv's new reality series siesta key came to a grinding halt when a video of, uh, sort of from the show was of a shark being dragged to its death during the celebrations idiots uh so the video and photos went viral of course. Um, and it now it's got so bad that MTV have actually cancelled the entire TV show. Good. Less yeah. of that rubbish TV and more about scuba diving facts and weird facts. That's what we need in this world, guys. Uh, so it's got so bad that the government are actually looking to open an inquiry into how this sort of thing happens on a TV show. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah it just goes to show how far reality sh stars will go to put a stunt uh, to either become famous or to grab headlines. It's just they, they only, they don't think about anything. It's like, oh, how could this go bad? Yeah. Oh, this looks, yeah, this will look awesome. Let me just oil up my six pack. We've yeah. caught a shark. Let's lasso it and drag it backwards on a jet boat or whatever the hell it was, a yeah. jet ski. Like, who, who thought? Why would that thought even pop into someone's head? Oh, that's right, because they don't have thoughts. Those no. people that are in that show are idiots. Uh, so it's just a shame that they had to yeah, drag a shark when they could have just dragged the entire cast behind a boat. <laughs> By their ears. Yeah, drag some sense into them. Yeah. Um, oh, it, I don't get it. It's a TV, it's reality shows. It's Love Island, Siesta, whatever this program was yeah, called. Siesta Key. Why? For entertainment, it wasn't even entertaining. No. I mean, it got shared on it got shared on Facebook and stuff because of how extreme it was, Ridiculous. and people were annoyed at it. Mm. But I'm glad it got cancelled. Yeah. 
and hopefully it, it just won't come back. At least though, they cancelled it at the beginning. They didn't do what that Channel 4 show was, Eden, where they cancelled it and didn't tell them <laughs> for a year. So they, they just still, left them. Yeah, they literally <laughs> left them there for a year. They're bringing it back. It's going to be on TV, I think, either this week or next week. So like, it's Eden, but rather than, it was meant to be a year project, and they've, they've condensed it down to five days. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, on other controversial news, Phelps versus Shark. So, I'm sure everyone's seen the race between Michael Phelps and the Shark. Shark. Yeah. yeah. Okay, digital shark. Now, on paper, it sounded like a cool idea. You've got the, one of the world's greatest swimmers, yep. and you've got a Michael shark. Michael Phelps. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Michael Phelps. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, so we did that. Yeah. Mark. Genius, genius. So, you know, you thought. You know, it was going to be a great idea. Right. Now, of course, Phelps can't swim outright a shark. No. It was never going to happen because the shark would be like, bleh, bleh, yeah. or won't have any interest and just do what it's. Yeah, you can't make a shark. It's like, okay, swim at full speed in a straight line next to this man. Yeah. Okay. Would, would, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, okay, I will do. So, but the problem is the marketing assumed that this is what it was going to entail. They and could have, a lot of people are very angry about yeah, it. Yeah, they could have done it for like the teaser trailer, Michael Phelps swimming against a shark. <gasps> and then they could at least say, okay, he's not actually in the water with a shark at the same time. It's just, yeah, we're gonna pace them as if he swim, as if he's swimming next to a shark. But no, they didn't. I mean, the CGI looks like they just YouTube, like, like what we like to do here, shark green screen. Green screen. <laughs> Oh, cool. And then it's normally the guy dancing in a shark outfit. <laughs> Copy and paste. Yeah, there you go. Happy yeah. days. So, one of the greatest swimmers on our, of our generation lost to a digital shark. shark. Mm. And that's how it will go down in history. That's if anyone will remember. No, yeah. not outside of Shark Week. No. Even, not, yeah, no. Even people in Shark Week are like, what? Marketing, yeah, bad marketing. It started, it, yeah. It was quite cool because we're... It would be nice to get people more into like the good parts of Shark Week. Yeah. They do. They still demonise sharks and all that, but it, it gets so people evil. It gets people into the underwater world, and sharks are quite a cool way. That's why a lot of us go diving to see sharks. Mm. Um, but now they just failed. Massive fail. CGI shark. I mean, how did they do it? Because again, I haven't looked into too much of this. I was, I just like the drama. It's like the drama, Mark. So did they track? Didn't they track a shark, and then applied that to the digital shark, and then that's how he swam. I don't know. I figure they just they know their maximum speed, so they just kind of went, oh okay, it swim this distance in X time. Michael Phelps jumped in. You do it. Okay, with his mono thing. Yeah, doing this. Anyway, uh, so now before we end the show, don't forget to vote for us in this year's Diver Awards. Uh, so we're up for Retailer of the Year again, and would really appreciate the vote. Just uh, we'll put a link below in the description. Yeah. Uh, and that's it done and dusted for this week. Thanks for watching, guys, and safe diving. And what? don't forget to vote, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs>